I'm Kevin Kukulevich. I'm industrial sales manager for Cummins uh, Engines, and today I'll be covering the uh, Performance Series engines. This is our uh, our next generation products, um, Stage Five compliant, uh, Tier Four compliant as well. Um, a key message about our Performance Series is more with less. Um, that kind of sets the tone. Um, this engine is uh, is capable of up to 174 horsepower. Um, so, so what we've what we've tried to do with our 3.8, 4.5, 6.7, and 9 liter is is again to kind of move uh, move the power ranges up, so they're capable of powering more. Um, maybe in in cases where you needed to power a 4.5 uh, or you needed 4.5 power, uh, you can now potentially look at a 3.8 liter. Um, so that's one of the larger attributes of, uh, of our products uh, coming out today. Um, we also, we're also offering uh, a single module after treatment. Um, this is really going to help folks with, uh, with integration, um, you know, being able to package in, in tighter spaces, um, reducing cost as well. Uh, so a single module after treatment, again, it, it's as described. One, one continuous unit as opposed to what we call a flex module which has uh, se separate pieces and parts so you've got elbow connections and uh, gaskets and clamps and different things which add to cost and it also adds to footprint of the product so with the the single module after treatment you're able to package in tighter spaces um, and you're spending less because you have less connection points and such. Um, we're also working on uh, providing uh, a better, better uh, cost of ownership uh, compared to Tier 4 Final and our, some of our competitors, um, pushing uh, our, our oil drain intervals up to uh, 1,000 hours. Uh, so again, um, what customarily used to be, uh, say, a, a three to 500 uh, uh, oil drain interval, now we're pushing that out to a thousand hours, so saving on oil, saving on filters, things like that. Um, so yeah, ag again, in, in, uh, in some cases as well, again with using single, single module after treatment um, and uh, the engine itself, uh, less weight, uh, which again is a, a benefit to, to OEMs and, and manufacturers, um, better fuel mileage, uh, just kind of rambling around here a little bit, uh, but uh, the key, one of the key uh, parts to uh, uh, this latest gen engine as well is the removal of EGR. Um, so again, less complex engines, less moving parts, um, less things to fail. So uh, also increasing performance of the engine, uh, and again, less complex. So that's. Uh, it's kind of it in a nutshell on uh, our, our performance products uh, and our next gen products uh, in the pipeline. So our six, seven, and nine liter product, uh, our performance series products, those are actually due to be out uh, yet this year. Um, so we're looking at uh, a June time frame for release, uh, production release of our six, seven, and nine liter products. And we're looking about just about a year out uh, for the 3.8 and 4.5 liter product. Um, in our performance series, so um, that same time in, in 2019, uh, we'll be releasing uh, the 3.8 and 4.5.